and thank you for joining us for another episode of Fort Worth Roots. You can find Fort Worth Roots on all of your favorite streaming services, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and many others. We're also on YouTube. There are videos associated with each one of these episodes, and we're on social media and all the things as Fort Worth Roots. Stay tuned to the very end of the episode where we talk about updates and all of our wonderful sponsors. Today we want to highlight Cowtown Nutrition, located at 5430 River Oaks Boulevard. They offer a healthy alternative to that compulsory fast food craving. You can also load up on your favorite Herbalife products and learn about their fitness groups that they hold on location at Cowtown Nutrition. Check them out on Instagram at Cowtown underscore nutrition. We are joined in studio today at the Fort Worth Roots Podcast Studio with our wonderful co-host, Megan, and uh, a good friend of ours that's been on the show several times, and we will actually be celebrating our friendiversary this April at the River Oaks Spring Fest Car Show. He is the owner of Roofing Solutions and the creator of the River Oaks Spring Fest Car Show, which, by the way, is year three coming up. He is the mayor of River Oaks. And a wonderful friend of mine that is responsible greatly for the success of this show. That's enough talking out of me. Thank y'all for being here. And please give it up for my friend, Mayor Darren Houck. And let's start the show. We are going to be talking about the River Oaks Spring Fest Car Show. Darren Houck, mayor of River Oaks. Great. Are, are you asking if I already hit the record button? I am. Mm-hmm. I was listening to the Because I didn't get a chance to say, Fort Worth Roots. <laughs> doesn't have the same sound. I was listening to the uh, Jerry Jonestown Massacre podcast uh, this last Tuesday, and they were talking shit about uh, podcasters that will just go ahead and hit the record button and not tell anybody they did it. I wonder who they were talking about. <laughs> right. Half the time, that's how we start the show. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So, um, you need anything to drink? No, I'm good. Thank you. I want my coffee. Hold on a second. Ah, babe. <laughs> you didn't need that neck, did you? <laughs> talking about the dog's not coming over here. <laughs> He's the one that's dangerous. <laughs> so he is editing all this out, right? Oh, I'm sure. What is this? Just looks? It was like a little award that he got. Oh, oh, that's cool. Recognition for. Well, I just saw a deal yesterday yeah. that looked very similar to that. It was not a microphone, but it could have been made in the same factory, and it was a a bird feeder. And oh. I'm trying to figure out how do their beaks get in this Interesting. really tight screen. Birds have tiny little tongues, don't they? I don't know. Do birds have tongues? Maybe that's how they're doing it. That's one of the mysteries hummingbirds of, of have, life. I don't know. Hummingbirds yeah. have those long, skinny... Well, yeah, because they get the, the nectar. Yeah. So maybe that's how. Maybe they're using their tiny little bird tongues. All right. Now that we're all settled in, and by we, I mean I. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I just realized I didn't have my coffee. I saw her drinking hers. I was like, that's ah, not going to work. I got to have that. That's not going to work. Yeah. yeah. Got the doggies here with us today because the, the open house, our first open house, is currently yep. underway. Started 10 minutes ago. Hopefully those people that showed up yesterday showed up today. Yeah. Well, I, I, we started talking a little bit earlier about that, and I never told you the rest of the... Tell us your... Gr- trick, trick to some of that. Yes, tell us your strategy for selling properties, because you, you're a flipper, aren't you? Yeah, that's kind of a <laughs> negative term. <laughs> oh, see, oh. You see the kind of money and work that we do to ours, but uh, yeah, we... we uh, so one of the things, we have open house, I... Have lots of friends that come by and take tours of the house that are not buyers, mm-hmm. but the buyers don't know that. Oh. So all of a sudden, uh, we we kind of got into that when we were trying to buy a house and go into a open house, and you had to wait to get into uh, each room. You had to wait for somebody else to come back in because it was so <laughs> crowded. So. That's the, way, that's the way ours look like now. I know. We were talking, like, how many people... Sandbag like, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. How many of the neighbors are going to come by and walk through the house compared I'm sure to, like, how many... sure that's a thing, but that's good. I mean, really, yeah. you should invite your neighbors because that's also, you know... They could choose they their want, next neighbor. They want their kids to be in the neighborhood or they know somebody, friends that are looking. That's, mm-hmm. that's a yeah. good... We had somebody come on Friday, and they were there for almost an hour. Oh, there you go. 
but that's a buyer. No offer though. No offer yet. <laughs> that's a buyer. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. they'll. Uh, they're gonna sleep on it, and we'll hear. But yeah, that was Friday. You, you would so. expect somebody that spent an hour in a property nosing around. Yeah, to oh, at right. least entertain. Yeah, they're serious, or you know, or got nothing going on in their mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and, and I don't know. You know, all this I'm sure has changed mm-hmm. due to interest rates and all that kind of stuff. But dude, it's bad. Uh, this will be the first one that we've tried to sell during the current climate, mm-hmm. and uh, our budget has gone through the roof. I'm like fifty grand over. Yeah. Well, over, over budget on it because every yeah. purchase I've made has been ugh. yeah it's inflation. Everything's just so much more expensive. You talk yeah. to any real estate agent right now, and they'll tell you, "No, it's the perfect time," and here's why. You know, but I mean, we can do the math ourselves and go, "No, no, no, this is not the time to be buying, right. selling." Well, nothing. so what they're saying, and I don't know if you're selling, this is not what you want to hear. And keep in mind, I'm fixing to be selling as well. <laughs> but, uh, you know they're they're saying now's the time to buy because you <clears throat> you buy with high interest rates and you refinance. But mm-hmm. right now you can get a deal on a house that they're negotiating. Mm-hmm. So the eight houses that we've sold, only one of them was sold at asking price. Every house sold for over asking price. And at one point, what period of time is this? The last uh, four years here in the River Oaks area. Um, six of them were yeah. Yeah, so we had two in Fort Worth. Um, and River Oaks, I think, hasn't been hit as hard as some of the others. It's still, it's, uh, there's still people interested in getting close to downtown, and there's not a lot of options to do that. Yeah. So, River, Oak, uh, River Oaks is a great little community, and I I keep finding myself doing stuff here. My first little rent house was off of Taylor Street. Right. Just down the road here, whenever I was working on the base, so. I forgot. You've told me that, but I forgot about that. I've nice got a little good friend that lives over there right now. Eight hundred so. square foot house, tiny little bitty rooms. Right. The right. the kitchen, the dining room, and the laundry room are all the same room. <laughs> <laughs> but it had a huge backyard and a, a garage with one of those swing up doors. Right. Right. Old school. Old school. So it's perfect. One of those forties. Yeah. And if uh, the the reason I got rid of that one is we went on a deployment and you know gotta let it go. And when I came back, I was like, man, if that thing's available, I'll be renting it again. Of course it wasn't. And if it was, it'd be twice as much. Oh, sure, sure. That's the whole... I but just, this was like 2000 I don't know how people rent nowadays. I'm just seeing these little one-bedroom houses it's they want so $1,500 a month for. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. And that's a deal. I mean, there's a lot of people that are paying a lot more than that. And then like, oh, it'd be cheaper to buy a house. Like, the mortgage would be less, but they can't get approved for a mortgage. Right. Like, but... We can we are we're paying this for rent. We can't get a mortgage or we pay less. Well, Darren, you remember my thing before me and Megan met. I was renting a room, uh, yes. one neighborhood over, not mm-hmm. quite River Oaks, not in River Oaks, yes. But uh, you know that that was six hundred dollars a month for one room plus the utilities, and that was the cheapest thing I could find. And I wasn't going to spend sixteen hundred dollars a month for a studio apartment. In a Section 8 apartment complex, which is what they had over there on uh, the River District. Hold on, everybody. The mayor's got a call. Sorry. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Let's put them on. I'll have to call them back. That was Atomic Then and Now, Uh-oh. one of our favorite stores here in River Oaks. Look at Darren getting some free plugs in for Atomic Now. And- <laughs> what is it, Atomic-, Atomic Now. And then. <laughs> yeah. They've got some cool stuff for our listeners. If you're on uh, River Oaks Boulevard, um, there's a, sh- a-, a strip of really excellent uh business establishments you got atomic then and now uh river oaks or excuse me uh boulevard brew Boulevard brew yeah and uh josephina's and then uh <clears throat> that's in I one can't remember the name uh, uh and, and cherry on top is a really excellent caterer that's there but then uh and now you got faded so it was faded art the new barbershop is that what it's called that's uh-huh. what i was gonna say it was it was tapers before but it's yep. new ownership and they've fixed it up it looked i mean it was nice before but it really looks nice now so. faded art and then the the building that i believe is owned by the same outfit right across the, the driveway there that's got uh cowtown nutrition a bicycle shop and i don't know what else yeah uh italiano's restaurant i mean uh, yeah italiano's restaurant we Which also has new owners. Oh, really? I don't know what's going on here in River Oaks. So, mm. Boulevard Brew has new owners. 
The barber shop has great new owners. I love them. Brad Chisholm. Uh, Come on now, Darren. I know. I hate it. <laughs> That's what happens to old, old age. We, we started uh, hearing that dial tone. I, I'm, I understand that uh, Jay Casas Burgers has new owners. Oh, wow. Uh, I haven't eaten there in probably over a decade. Is that right? Yeah. Well, now you got Grumps, which, well, in my opinion, is the hamburger in River Oaks. Well, it's just a fun atmosphere, fun place to be. I did go to uh, Jay Casas the other day and had a... Very good burger. It was yeah. a good burger, good good service. They've always had good food, but uh, but yeah, it just doesn't have quite the same atmosphere as, as what... Uh, I could be a real ass hat right now and make him decide which one's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I won't go there. <laughs> you know, it just depends on what you want, I guess. <laughs> and talk about good food in Fort Worth. We went to... Oh, hell yeah. Lonesome Dove for dinner last night. You ever been to Lonesome Dove? Is that on Exchange? I, uh, is that, it's Main Street. Main, exchange is the one that runs the other way, right? Well, Main goes north and south, and, and exchange, exchange is, is the main one that goes up the hill. So it's almost right there in that corner. Yeah. Yeah. Main and Exchange. Yeah. Is that a Grady Spears place? No, it's a Tim Love place. Oh, okay. Grady Spears. I'm not familiar with Grady Spears. Uh, he's Somebody else. He, he's a lo <laughs> local famous guy like Tim Love, but I think he's... Oh, okay. Uh, well, nobody's as fam famous as Tim Love right now. That guy was on Iron Chef and uh, Fort Worth Roots. That's, Episode that, 100. That, that's, that's the thing I was going to wind up to. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was killed your punchline. <laughs> sorry about that. You know, he's. I don't know no Grady on the Fort Worth Roots podcast, so Tim Love, he's been on the show. That, that makes him pretty special. You know... Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, speak your mind. You you got all these podcasters you're friends with, and all. how many of them have had two mayors on their show? I or, bet I bet or, you, or one and a half. I, <laughs> I, I bet you. Uh, oh no, you're you're a mayor. Don't try to sell yourself short. <laughs> um, I, I bet you that Jerry Jonestown Massacre has had a mayor or two on. They've been around for they've almost a, good a decade. So yeah, they've got a good podcast yeah. too. I know. Just recently, they had the well. I say recently within. Uh, recent memory, uh, they've had the Fort Worth Library on their show, really? which which is surprising because Jerry Jonestown Massacre is it's cutthroat, you know. Yeah. So to <laughs> to to hear the uh, the the ladies from Amplify One Seven uh, for Fort Worth uh, Library on their show, it's, it was a little surprising, but it it was a great episode. And uh, Teresa Davis, Rita Alfaro, did they a great do. job. I on mean, they're show. doing a they're doing a great job for musicians in the area mm -hmm. for sure yeah something we've needed a long time and i didn't even know it but outside of that yeah i'd say fort worth roots is the only one that's had two very successful mayors on the show betsy price darren help <laughs> <laughs> but we are we are still uh sending emails and uh shaking trees and knocking on doors trying to get the mayor of fort worth on the show but it's it's been difficult Maddie's pretty busy, yeah. and I understand, uh, especially in her earliest days, I'm sure that they had a long list of more things than she could possibly get to. So. Yeah, and I also understand. I was talking to Sean with uh, Gasagi, the band that plays here every Sunday. He was uh -huh. here this morning, and uh, I mentioned that I'd tried to get some, you know, very well-known organizations in here to, to do a show, and one of them was Lockheed Martin. <laughs> You know, they're right down the street, right? blazing right. F-35s over our head every day. I thought it'd be cool to have them in, talk talk about their project, you know, what, right. what they can say. Nothing yes. that they can't. And uh, I was talking to somebody, like their public information guy or something, and uh, we were back and forth for a couple of weeks, and then he just ghosted me. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, the good one, the really good one, was we, we've got a, a really cool event coming up. We've got the Blue Angels are coming back for the first time since really? 2016. Well, you would think this would be like one of their main stops now. We got Fat Albert at the end of uh, the road here. Yeah, that's right. Isn't sitting that cool? on the corner. Yeah, their C-130 that, I, who knows how long they use that one. That's one of the older C-130s. So I wonder if that's been their supply aircraft for you know a decade or more those yeah are, i'm assuming it's a really old model right i don't okay. see those in use anymore okay i didn't realize that mm -hmm. well yeah they're uh they're putting some planes out and about white settlement has a new i don't know my airplanes but white can, settlement's got a new uh, fighter plane out in their 
Veterans Park, and uh, I know our White Settlement does. Uh-huh. Huh. River Oaks Police just helped uh, Westworth escort one down to uh, their main city hall. Well, like a static display? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. On Burton Hill Road, but they're taking these other planes. Yeah. I was involved with a deal many years ago, and, and I mean, I've had lots of phone calls. When are we getting ours in River Oaks? And, uh, Where would you put it? Well, that's kind of the point, <laughs> and, and I was involved with a deal in... Uh, uh, Canton, which was Van Zant County Memorial Park, mm-hmm. they've got a fighter plane. I don't know which one it is, but my understanding way back when, when I kind of helped them with some fundraising and things like that, <clears throat> they uh, the plane was free. Mm-hmm. They had to ship it here. Yeah. And then they had to restore it, and you have to keep them to yeah. a certain standard on the ex- exterior of them anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they had this uh, great parade as they took it from the restoration place down their main street and then put it onto this pedestal that they built. Mm-hmm. And I think that's that's been 15 years ago. And I think uh, at that point it was $150,000 just for what they just did to, 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 to get a free yeah. plane. <laughs> well, and, and that's what they do with these old uh, submarines and aircraft carriers and things that end up in certain ports around the world. The, right. the cities have to... You know, come up with a, a proposal for how they're going to take care of those right. uh, historical pieces. You know, and they typically they'll get them for free, but it's like, okay, you still got to right check all these boxes, and before you know it, unfortunately, <laughs> like I think down in Galveston is is one of these places. They've got these old boats that they're like, we just need to get rid of this because we we're not going to pay to continue to upkeep this thing because you got to pay. Is, it is Battleship Texas still there? That's Corpus, isn't it? Or no, no, no you're no, right. That is no, Galveston. Right there yeah, at San Jacinto. So at the San Jacinto Monument. I want to say like a year and a half ago, it was still there. Um, and and is that been there in years and years? Is that I, the one that's uh, on Dry Dock? It's in a pond. Okay. <laughs> so I guess that would be Dry Dock, but you well, know it has water around it, but you couldn't. There's it, a it, couple. It's of not them. sailing out of there. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, I would I think, think that's be a the one that's got a. I think that's the one that's got the big nuclear sub sitting next to it. Oh, no, I hadn't seen that. Okay, probably not nuclear anymore. Actually, I don't I even hope not. I don't even think it's it was nuclear. Now that I'm thinking of, because it was a World War II submarine, but it's it's just halfway buried in the ground. But yeah, they they have to exp- It's 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 very costly to keep those things going. So yeah, absolutely, it's kind of like a white elephant. You know, once you get it, you can't really do anything with <laughs> right, it. Right? So. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I remember touring the uh, Texas a long battleship Texas a long time mm-hmm. ago, and that was really pretty cool. Looking at the, if we're talking about the same one, it is falling apart. Like well, it's just it's it's bound to be because it was parked there. I don't know how. I mean, I'm thinking it was 50 years ago, probably that mm-hmm. I that I toured it. Yeah. Um, well, and then the one in Corpus, they've. You know, it, it seems like it comes up every couple of years. Them talking about like losing the project and having to figure something out they're going to be closing it down and it's like no don't do it but I mean, yeah and and and, and though you know at least battleship texas you can tour all the inside of it and all that and it's uh if you know sitting in salt water i su- su- suppose uh a lot more maintenance to that than a jet sitting on a pedestal up in the air that yeah. you can't can't see the insides to it or or you know maintenance i don't I'm assuming it's not an issue if you can't see in the canopy, you know. You know just got to keep it from falling apart. Right. And uh, they probably have to repaint it at least every couple of years. Right. And that isn't cheap. <laughs> well, talking about repainting things that are falling apart, talk. Let, let's talk about these classic cars that are going to be showing up to the River Oak Spring Fest car show in April. All right. Well, uh, this is the third year. Third annual. It's been... Hugely successful, better than we could have ever imagined. I mean, I did imagine it, but it really, I imagine a lot of things that don't come to fruition. But um, we start uh, Friday night, April 26th. Mm-hmm. We go to Grumps Burgers on River Oaks Boulevard, and we all meet there and just have some great burgers and uh refreshments and uh, then we one of the things about river oaks being a smaller town is that 
we are able to talk to our police officers and work out details to where we have a what we call a police escorted cruise where we drive through uh, a, a big portion of our small city so mm-hmm. it's kind of like a parade but a little bit faster than a traditional walking parade it's about 20 25 minutes long right start to yeah. finish yeah at least last year was and, awesome they and then so people cars and, and the and the people get come out for it so yeah. they bring their lawn chairs out in the front yard and and all that they really like it and, and uh i don't even know last year the first year somebody counted 185 cars in that uh in the parade yeah and so that was about half of what we had at the show but um uh, but still for that many to show up and for us to pull it off without Major traffic jams. We we cross uh, River Oaks Boulevard, which is Texas one eighty three. Right? Yep. So that's always a little bit of a, a challenge to block the road and get them across, but get them across quickly so people aren't getting mad. And yeah, well, River uh, Oaks PD really had it. They they were on top of it. They're they are so awesome, Seamless. and we have great relationships with our neighboring cities, uh, Westworth Village, and. Samson Park, some of those guys come in and help us as well. To, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it takes a village. But it, it, <laughs> sometimes you know, this several is something villages. that in, in my earlier years in this hobby, that was something our car club did every month. We had a monthly car show that would have a police escorted cruise. Yeah. Now it's like unheard of. Police departments say, are you crazy? Well, <laughs> they're, uh, they're uh, dramatically understaffed. I mean, it's, it's serious. Absolutely, yes. And then, uh, anyway, so that, that's Friday night, and uh, then Saturday we moved back to YMCA Camp Carter, and for those that haven't ever been out there, it's like 375 acres. You feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, and it's mm-hmm. dropped down right in the center of Fort Worth, basically. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't realize where River Oaks is. They think we're talking about Houston, but... Uh, <laughs> So we're surrounded by Fort Worth, and, and Camp Carter is half and half. So half of Camp Carter is actually in Fort Worth, and half of it is in River Oaks. Mm-hmm. But uh, we've had about 300 cars each year there and uh, 100 pop-up booths. Um, we've had a lot of live, great live music there, and uh, this year's no exception. We've, uh, we've got uh, Slant 6 was one of the guys that one of the, one of the groups that came last year that did a fantastic job and uh they actually reached out to us wanting to come back we'll have food trucks uh, yeah last year was uh there were as many or more people the second year uh last year mm-hmm. and i don't think we ran out of food this time no, it's funny. The first year, the first year it, it was hard did. for it was hard for us to get food trucks, right? Because they didn't These know what guys to wanted. They wanted us to guarantee them two thousand in sales or pay them to come out there right. and all this. And then we, I think we had and and we try to protect our vendors so that you don't have three guys selling barbecue and none of them really do that mm-hmm. well. So we 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 try to protect them and uh, we had four that were supposed to be there and I think two no showed us. The following year, last year, I think we must have had 25 phone calls with people that oh, yeah. had seen it, heard about it, whatever. Mm-hmm. Everybody wanted to Well, the bring turnout the food was truck. incredible. And year one and year two, 8,000 people. And for folks that haven't come out uh, and, and witnessed this in person, you can be in downtown Fort Worth uh, and then uh, leave from there and end up at the uh, camp YMCA Camp Carter Grounds. 15-minute drive. And you're... You're downtown Fort Worth, and then 15 mm-hmm. minutes later, you're standing on a 350-acre uh, plot with uh, water features and tall trees. You can't even see the the downtown buildings. That's right. It, you're right underneath them. Uh, absolutely. But it's, it's just a gorgeous space. They got uh, rock wall, right? And they're rock wall climbing. and There is. Uh, uh, zip lines. All they, sorts of stuff. They're, Kayaking. They're going to have the canoes out and canoes, the, yeah. uh, horseback riding. All that's free of charge. Everything there is free of charge. We we work with Castleberry ISD, um, and they provide us with wonderful volunteers to help do all this. A ton but of then, volunteers. But then they yeah. also, the, the morning programming is... Uh, you know, they bring their jazz band out, and then uh, they've got an award-winning mariachi band mm-hmm. that, that 
is going to come out and perform again this year. And uh, so that also helps get all the parents and the grandparents out there and that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. I know the the first year somebody was counting at the at the gate, and they quit counting at something like eight thousand right people. And then I found out that was only counting the spectators. That wasn't counting the hundred booths and the people operating those right. or the cars that came in or the volunteers. So, Damn. So I'm thinking, I mean, you were there. I don't know. I'm thinking there's 10,000 people there. <laughs> it's it's so crazy because it, it happens so fast. You know, there's all this buildup, preparation, and then the day comes. And what time is it starting and ending this year? Uh, 10 to 4.30. So it's a flash in the pan, and it's over so fast. And I definitely didn't have an opportunity to do any counting. I'm out there right. oh, yeah. video, <laughs> taking videos and pictures and uh, running the podcast, doing some recordings with people and, and things like that. And so it, it's... It's like it, it just happens so fast, and I, I can hardly remember it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, I have to go back and look at pictures just to well, recall that, anything. Yeah, that first year, there's a couple of good videos posted out on YouTube, and uh, I remember first looking at those and saying, oh, I know that car. I didn't see it. <laughs> I've, I've been a car guy for over 40 years, and I just was running the whole time. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember seeing you when I was on a golf cart on some kind of mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and wasn't able to even uh, stop and talk to you, which I definitely regret. But, but it's it, but you've been a big part of it. That's how you and I met. As a yeah, I was fact. about to and, point that and, out. It's and, it's not just the uh, River Oaks Spring Fest car show, but it's also our second friendiversary. <laughs> there you go. That, that, this is how we kind of third, right? Well, we met re we getting met ready for the for first one, year one. So year one to year two, and year two to year three. So. But it's uh, yeah. This this has been one one of the 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 big things that you and I do together. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's it's and, been and so much fun. And you've been just a huge part of it with uh, not only help promoting it, but the day of it was so cool. Later to come back and see all the people that you interviewed and yeah, you know, like the first year, one of my favorite things is we had the uh, Wiener Mobile out there. Mm -hmm. That was and awesome. And you interviewed the hot doggers. Yeah. Which, uh, they must go through years of schooling just to learn all the puns. <laughs> you know, they yeah. they everything they said was uh, things like we relish your <laughs> your visit, and we. Uh, <laughs> it was just one after another. One after another. And you could, the whole you, spiel. You hadn't started. You haven't. You had not stopped laughing about the previous pun before they'd throw another one at you. So they <laughs> just have right. you in stitches for that's right. five minutes straight. It was but, hilarious. But that's part of what I caught from your show that I thoroughly enjoyed and some of the video that you did as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, do your, do your listeners realize they can go to YouTube and, and catch most of these shows on YouTube as we, well? We try to remind them at the beginning of every episode. But, yeah, we're on YouTube. And uh, today we're not doing video because – Somehow or another, I misplaced all my SD cards, and uh, we had to run up to CVS and grab a <laughs> SD card just so we could do the roadcaster. But anyway, there will still be an episode uh, available on YouTube with this recording. It just won't have any video. But most of them do have video on YouTube, but you can get us on all the streaming services, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. We're everywhere, man. Well, I love it. And I can <laughs> say that's, uh, I think that's rare, but... but YouTube is my way. I I, yeah. I get it on my big screen TV and sit back and watch. And a yep. lot of times, uh, just watching the people in the studio, but as well as like, especially with these car shows and the uh, your big event every September, you know, we, we come up with a lot of good photos and videos to slide in while conversations are going on. Oh, and I yeah. think that's a huge part of And that's what I'll do. So well, I think people are missing out on that, really, by you know, just I was, listening. I was about to say, you know what I'll do? I'll go grab all the River Oak Spring Fest car show pictures from last year, and I'll put them in this video. Where are those at? You know where they're at. <laughs> oh, the big, the big crash. The hard Not drive. Not a car crash. The hard drive. The crash. hard drive crash heard around the world. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a sensitive subject, and I feel like an absolute moron. Uh, well, we can get some if you'd like to do that, as well as you know, you've already got it on YouTube. Yeah, you, you did some great video. Last yeah, folks, time. if I, if I don't put any pictures up, you can find it. It's the River Oak Spring Fest Car Show, and uh, I'll look up what episode. But yeah, we we do this every year, and it's for, for the past. This will be our third time doing it. So, so one of the things I'm excited about this year is, um, 
But here I'm going to ask on the air, did we get it confirmed that Itchy Richie and the Burning Sensations? Is Richard he gonna Keller. Be able, is he going to be able to join us? Itchy Richie and the Burning Sensations will be playing on the Fort Worth Roots stage. Uh, Darren was actually trying to talk me out of bringing the stage. Because <laughs> we don't need it. He, he made a really good point. You know, the stage is important if you have rows of people that need to be able to see over each other's heads. And yeah. out there, 350 open acres, we don't necessarily need that, but... We uh, we built that stage just so that our our, uh, our our bands would have something to stand on and you know hey, it's great feel, feel a little I'll, more official. I'll help you get it down there even as yeah. long as we do it a couple of days before the event. <laughs> we might need to do that. Yeah, that would be ideal. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So I, I look forward to seeing him. I always like Richie. He's good. He's, yeah, he's very entertaining. Yeah, got the best looking suit in town. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a human Please disco ball. Y'all need to y'all need to come out just to see that. Birdie, these dogs with their bullshit. They found a new buddy. Yeah, I like you. I'm trying. They went to out there, there tearing up the yard. What are they doing? I walked out there. Jax was up in the back corner, just like kicking stuff up. <laughs> I'm not telling what he's digging out. Uh, I mean, out, out back there. It's uh so the building we're in, the the Fort Worth Roots Podcast Studio. Yeah, so River Oaks, uh, we are. This is our seventy fifth anniversary. So uh, Mark Nobles, that you know, Mark A. Nobles, the author, and myself are doing a book about the history of, and we've got some programming and stuff coming up later in the year. Uh, several events where we're going to show all the old photographs and stuff. So we've been scanning and scanning and scanning. But but really where we're sitting here is a pretty interesting history. And I kind of always knew it, but now hearing other people talk about how this was downtown River Oaks before there was a River Oaks. You mean this square? This piece of property we're on? That's right. This was called Willett's Corner okay. before there was River Oaks Boulevard. Yeah. 183. This little strip of land... In the front there, um, well, you, there, there's... Yell and meandering? Yeah. Are you trying to think of the there's, names? There's the, no, I was trying to figure out how to word this as to <laughs> the owners and all that kind of stuff. So, Roofing Solutions is up in the front. There's a warehouse. If you're looking at the building, there's a warehouse on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love hearing Shirley Willett. Bunker, your neighbor here, who is the best neighbor anybody could ever have. Brings coffee, brings food, brings she's, hugs. She's so great. <laughs> yes, I love her to death. She, um, But to hear her and her sister uh, describe this property from the day was, you know, the, the end building there was a feed store. Mm -hmm. Then the next building over that's right in front of us here was a gas station. Then you crossed over Yale. We're on the corner of Meandering and Yale and River Oaks. You crossed over Yale, and uh, they had a cafe and a dry goods store. And then she tells a story that the community, so this was all her father. One guy owned all this. Mm -hmm. Decided the community was getting big enough to need a barber, so he took off to West Texas in search of a barber. Found a barber. Was he on a horse? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just throw me off. <laughs> found a barber, brought him back. Found a barber. There's no place for him to live, so he built a one bedroom house back behind there for the barber to live in. That's hilarious. But uh, his, she said, he always said, you know, when they, the farmers come into town, they can get their feed, come over, and if they if they're in their Model T, they could go fill it up with gas, go across the street, get something to eat for lunch while they're here, get their hair cut, and and uh, pick up their dry goods for the rest of the week. So now he was quite the uh, entrepreneur and evidently a really great guy. Some other people telling about it. Uh, Have a different from opinion. A, from, no, from a different perspective, <laughs> actually saying how at a time, Depression era and all that, nobody had money. And he extended credit to people that he knew would eventually pay it back, even yeah. though they didn't have a penny to their name right then. So evidently he was a very, very Respected great guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. We well, get a lot of that here. Now we got a... Darren Houck, who's got the highest rating on uh, all the uh, Google and Yelp and anywhere else you can find a rating with River uh, Roofing Solutions by Darren Houck. 
<laughs> well, so, thank you. Yes. So this is a, a, a good place. Hard, that's place rare for, with a roofer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's unheard a, of. We got such a bad reputation, but, you know, I tell people all the time that usually there's there's a lot of con guys out there. That doesn't make them roofers. That's just, uh, uh, you know, con artists that happen to come into our business. Yeah. Uh, but we, we call them, you know, people say roofers are crooked. Well, there's bound to be some, but. There's some really good ones too. Yeah. Well, I think, and uh, maybe you mentioned this or somebody else that I know mentioned it, but uh, the fact that you've got a brick and mortar location <laughs> here here in this community says a lot rather than Working just out of the back of my truck, a phone number and a website. Right. And that's a, that's a big business here. That I mean, in my industry, they, not only the uh, painter that becomes a roofer every time a hailstorm hits or or the drywall guy. Or, yeah, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever trade when the hail comes out of the sky, you know, if they they uh, met a roofing crew on a on a job, they think they have everything it takes. Uh, yeah. But that doesn't mean that they uh, that their roofing crew even knows what they're doing. Yeah. But anyway, that is what it is. Can we talk about mayor stuff? Sure. Tell us, uh, tell us what's new in River Oaks. Well, what's on the see. horizon for the so, city? So, uh, one of the things here, real locally, is that uh, you know we're on we're on Yale here. So we, you know, we put in all new water lines. Not all new water lines, but throughout the city, we've we've done about eighty percent of the water lines, and probably about the same with the sewer. Atmos Gas came in and started doing the same thing, so they put yeah. them all in. So now people complain about how torn up the streets are. So we're <laughs> we're working on that. It's a slow process. Yeah. But uh, where we sit today, I've just gone through about two weeks of. Uh, I live farther down the same road and uh, went through about two weeks of them tearing that up and uh, repaving the road. Now it's smooth as can be. And then between where we are and my house is all torn up and rough. Yeah. And then where we are now is just the old uh, asphalt that needs to be redone. So is this going to be the next What stage? I'm telling you is that you are fixing to be in for a couple <laughs> of weeks of, of uh, not fun times. But, yeah. but the end result is more than worth it. Now, whenever they tear up these roads, there's a... There's obviously there's going to be some asphalt that they have to haul out of here. Are you going to want to reclaim any of that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what all they do with that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even allowed to say, but the uh, it's recycling. Yeah, it's recycling. <laughs> yes, buddy. Yeah, they needed a place to dump some of it, so you know they just have to dispose of it. So we got a little bit here to spread out on the yard. But did that become kind of a? a more of a project than you thought it would be? Everything I do is more <laughs> of a project than I thought it would be. So they tore up one of the streets, and Darren's like, I want that asphalt. So they brought it all over here, and whenever Darren saw what they did, they brought way more than they were supposed to. Yeah. yeah so I you've been unloading were, asphalt out of the back of the, yeah, the there studio was, they were for supposed to bring a like month. A, a truckload, and I think they <laughs> brought five or six. I had several people saying they wanted it, so we stored it here, and then slowly moved it out a little bit at a time but it was hilarious and i was sending megan pictures because every time i'd go back there there'd be more asphalt i know <laughs> i know, finally get it away and then all of a sudden they come back well i remember one time the guy told me yeah we've got i think one more truck i'll bring i said okay fine i left and went out and did whatever work i had to do that day and came back and <laughs> it was all filled back up again i think it was probably four truckloads that he brought that day <laughs> all you people kept saying you want this come pick it up i can't even pull my park my cars in here right now yeah but yes recycling at its best so. <laughs> reduce reuse recycle that's right that's right well i uh i genuinely appreciate you doing this recording with me today is there anything else that we need to cover before we get out of here i don't know of anything things are we got an election coming up I'm, is not, that? I'm not part of that, oh, okay. so we've got... Uh, we can sit this one out? City, yeah, <laughs> city city council has a, a couple of seats open, so that usually gets entertaining around here. We've got some good qualified candidates, so 
probably no matter how any of it turns out, it'll be okay. We, we have a lot of people here that care a lot about the city, and we've had a lot of good changes. Uh, you know, we've got the River District just south of us here that actually butts up to River Oaks. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we've been working hard to get some of the uh, economic development here, like you mentioned, uh, Chris Frank's building there that has all those new businesses in it, and, and Grumps. That's all all brand new stuff that's coming. We've got lots of houses that are, uh, there's, you know, all that's supposed to be slowed down, and I think we've had more new builds in the last two years than we've probably had the last two decades. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's very promising. I had a call the other day from somebody that, it, it means my message is, is getting out to somewhere, somehow. I haven't really heard where it came from, but there's been two instances recently where somebody told me they wanted to move to the River District, and uh, they were told by other people, you need to come to River Oaks. If you want to go to the River District, nice. you need to come to River Oaks. That's where it's happening, and all the people in the River District can can get to River Oaks Boulevard just as easy as they can. Well, the River District, which is hilarious because that's always just been like the ghetto in between River Oaks and Fort Worth, but they've rebranded it. Yes, There's absolutely. nothing down there but apartment complexes and a couple of little restaurants. Right. Well, that, it was it was sold as being a walking neighborhood where What's going on? you lived in one of those apartments or something, you uh, would be able to walk down to the restaurant without ever getting in your car and yeah. all that. And there's a couple of great restaurants, Himes and... Uh, the old VFW. Tim Loves. What's, what's <laughs> oh, Jamelli. Yeah. Jamelli. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Salsa Le Mon. Those are all right there. But the way it's turned out is they're too far. Yeah. You can't walk to It's them. not walking to them. So if you're going to get in the car and go there, you might as well go two blocks up and, and Be in downtown. come to River Oaks. Oh, yeah. We'll River love Oaks. you. <laughs> One way or the other. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Depends <laughs> which direction you're going. So, yeah. Anyway, we we appreciate you having us on. It's always fun. Um, this enjoy, enjoy seeing you guys and talking about what's going on. Our friendship, me, you, and uh, Tanya, and Mark Nobles, and everybody I've met, the Hauk family, um, is, is just one of the big benefits to doing this podcast. I would have never met you if I hadn't started doing this podcast. So well, I, I think you view you as a dear friend and and. I'm grateful for it, and that's kind of the way I look at Springfest. Yeah, same. <laughs> you, I remember you calling me up saying, oh, I'm looking for a place to kind of get my podcast where I can be seen. Yeah, I, well, I wanted to do well, some we kind of... We want a podcast at our car show. <laughs> I never knew it, but yeah, that sounds great. I was ready to start getting out there and doing uh, some type of public event, and going to a vendor market seemed like the best thing, and I don't know how I found you, right. but I was yeah, like, I that's either. perfect. Car show? Hell yeah, <laughs> sign me up. So, yeah, if anybody wants to know more about all that, they can go to River Oaks Springfest Car Show. Dot com. Okay, and I'll put that in the show notes. So if y'all are driving and didn't get a chance to write that down, you can go to the show notes and check that out. Um, it's going to be a great event. The last two years have been amazing. There's going to be more people, more vendors, more food trucks. Uh, again, the kayaking, the horseback riding, the all the different events that they have at YMC. YMCA Camp Carter, uh, Fort Worth Roots is going to have uh, Richard Keller, Itchy Richie, and the Burning Sensations playing on the maybe, maybe not Fort Worth Roots podcast stage. Uh, there's going to be probably a mariachi band and lots of other awesome activities. It is free to attend, so you guys make sure and put it on your calendars. April 26th and 27th. 26th is the, uh, the police escort. Friday night at Grumps. Right. And, and then, then the 27th, 27th is going to be at 6300 Sand Springs uh, Road, I think Something. it is, yeah. in Fort Worth, Texas. Just past 76114. <laughs> <laughs> Just past Burgers Lake out, out here, uh, YMCA at Camp Carter. So. Yeah, so we're right around Lake Worth, and uh, I guess you'd call it Northwest Tarrant County by Lake Worth and by the Naval Air Station. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, come see us if uh, you got a classic car or know somebody that has one. Really, it's a pretty wide open, lot of different kinds, and there is plenty of room with 375 acres. We're not running out of room, so it's not too late to uh, and motorcycles come get registered. That's right, we had motorcycles. We had probably what 30 (laughs) vintage motorcycles last year, and that was cool. cool Seeing there's one guy that brings out like I think six or eight of his classic motorcycles yes i'm gonna go ahead that's vernon's automotive which is one of our uh, 
sponsors as well but uh, randy hooper great guy and yeah that's where it got started i saw how, what kind of a collection he had and uh talked him into bringing a few and he knew other people so yeah all of a sudden it was like a show of its own mm -hmm. which is really cool and they come out and ride in the police escort as well so yeah that's right and i i was filming last year so i didn't get to ride in it but the year before i was on my motorcycle hitting my horn <laughs> <laughs> that's right had a big flag on a motorcycle yeah um yeah and that's another thing if anybody's interested they can they can go online and talk to us and there's a lot of cool places if you can't make the show but you want to see them uh you know, there's a few places you can sit on the side of the road and watch them go out, and it's not like your regular uh, downtown Fort Worth parade where it takes you two hours to get there and two yeah. hours to leave with the no. traffic. There's a lot of places None you of can that. sit there and spend 20 minutes watching cool cars go by and yeah. then go to Grump's Buy Burger and, uh -huh. and see them in the parking lot. So. Right. And come back out the next day for all the activities. So we're expecting over 300 cars, and I hope your listeners bring a couple of others. Yeah. Did, uh, tell the neighbor. He has that car, classic car in his garage. Our neighbor? Yeah. Okay. I'll let him know. Hand him a flyer. Yeah. All right. There you go. <laughs> That's how it all started. <laughs> Megan, you got anything for the uh, the listeners this week? Um, No, I don't. Nothing? Nothing. It's always good to see Megan. Yeah. I don't get to see you as much as I see him. I know. My schedule has changed, though, so yeah. I'm off on weekends again. All right. We got our co-host yeah. uh, a permanent spot now. We're back. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Not off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. <laughs> All right. Well, Darren, thank you again. And uh, let's do this again soon because I think it's been, dude, it might be a year. It might have been a year since we had you on last. Now that you say that, probably was. I'm sure it was right before the last spring fest. So. <laughs> probably was. I always enjoy it. Just Here call me. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Guys and gals, thank you all for listening. And we will see you next week. Mayor Darren Houck, thank you so much for being on the Fort Worth Roots podcast again. And Megan, thank you for always being such an amazing co-host. If y'all didn't catch it during the episode, the River Oak Spring Fest Car Show happening Friday, April 26th, the police escort that precedes the event. Uh, meet us at Grumps, 5300 River Oaks Boulevard in River Oaks, Texas. It's about eight minutes from downtown Fort Worth. They're at Grumps Burgers. Oh, by the way, that place has got some bomb-ass burgers and uh, cold beer on tap. Uh, that's going to be fun. And then the following day, Saturday, April 27th, 10 a.m. at YMCA Camp Carter, 6300 Sand Springs Road, Fort Worth, Texas, 76114. River Oaks is so weird, man. I mean, it, you got to drive past Grumps and the... Uh, Roofing Solutions by Darren Houck and all these different places that are in River Oaks. And as soon as you cross, like, a, a street somewhere in the mix of all this, all of a sudden you're in Fort Worth again. So that's why River Oaks is uh, a big part of what we do because it's where the studio is located. But River Oaks is just this little island inside of Fort Worth. All right. So uh, in the show notes, you'll find all the information for the event. This is a lot of fun, and if you've been listening to the Fort Worth Roots podcast for any time, any length of time, uh, we go into uh, uh, advertising mode for this River Oak Spring Fest car show past three years, um, and we talk about it tirelessly. It starts today. <laughs> You're going to hear a little bit more about it every time we uh, go live on one of these recordings. So, um, And we do that because we want you to come out. It's a free event. It's a lot of fun, and I promise you, just getting to come out to uh, Camp Carter, YMCA Camp Carter, and see that thing yourself, that's enough reason to come out right there. It's beautiful. There's uh, a, a really large pond in the middle of it for uh, canoeing or kayaking, whatever. There's a, a rock wall uh, that you can climb. There's horseback riding. There's zip lining. There's all sorts of stuff. And the day that we do the River Oak Spring Fest car show, there's going to be hundreds of classic cars, a bunch of really badass custom motorcycles, food trucks, and lots of other things, and hundreds of vendors. Uh, last year, we had, I think, 88 vendors. The year before that, I think we had just under 80. And I think Darren said in this recording that we're, we're going to have uh, 100 plus this year. So all the details are still getting put together as uh as it goes with these things 
Um, but we will keep you up to date, and I want you to put it on your calendar. If you can't make the police escort, I forgive you, but come on out. Put it on your calendar Saturday, April 27th at YMCA Camp Carter. That's the air fryer in the background. If you're wondering what that beeping noise is, we're about to have some sushi bake. It's one of Megan's. <laughs> I can't say that on a podcast, babe. <laughs> sushi bake is one of Megan's uh, dishes that she uh, has concocted, and it's amazing. And I can't wait to chow into that here in a minute. So, all right. Let's get into these sponsors a little bit. Cowtown Nutrition, we talked about them up front. Uh, located at 5430 River Oaks Boulevard, they offer a healthy alternative to that compulsory fast food craving. Uh, and you can find them on Instagram at Cowtown underscore nutrition. Our homies at Pouring Glory. If you haven't checked this place out, you are you're, you're making bad life decisions. Pouring Glory is at 1001 Bryan Avenue, Fort Worth, Texas, just off South Main Street, 935. Uh, Pouring Glory is a, growl- a growler refilling station that serves a craft beer and award-winning food with live music. And uh, as the temperatures start to warm up, and I think this week we're supposed to hit 80 degrees, uh, the music starts out there on the very expansive patio. And uh, some of your favorite artists, uh, favorite local artists will be playing out there on that stage. So check that out. Pouring glory. Don't miss it. McFly's Pub, another excellent place on the other side of Fort Worth to uh, check out live music. It's a 1980s Back to the Future themed bar with a very impressive outdoor area, fire pit. You can hang out and bring some friends for pool darts, cornhole, jumbo, Jenga. Catch a live event with local musicians on stage multiple times every week. Tommy Luke's still doing that open mic on Tuesdays. Don't miss that. Again, that is McFly's Pub. The background noises tonight are brought to you by Megan making some badass comida in the Cocina. Woodpost Metalworks. Use offer code PODCAST817. If you guys have gone by the studio, which, by the way, is located on Yale Street in uh, River Oaks, um, you'll see this really badass steel sign uh, with LED backlighting. Try to go as the sun's setting so you get the full effect of our really cool sign hanging off the front of the studio. Woodpost Metalworks made that, and they can make something for you. They specialize in metal signs with or without LED backlighting, fence and gate repair or installation, light steel fabrication, industrial plasma cutting, and more. It's like we're in a diner, huh? Offer code PODCAST817 is the code you use at checkout. No, no, we love the sounds. Keep going. (laughs) I shouldn't be complaining. That dish is going to be delicious. Halk Walker Originals. Go to halkwalker.com. And they offer a huge variety of unique and personalized gifts. If you're trying to find something for your office or a party you got coming up, these are the folks you want to talk to. Uh, HalkWalker.com is the website. And instead of buying some weird, cheap stuff online that's going to break first time you use it, why don't you get some customized stuff from somebody local and uh, keep Fort Worth dollars in Fort Worth pockets. Go check out what they got. It might fit exactly what you got in mind. HalkWalker Originals. Roofing Solutions by Darren Halk, the mayor himself. Roofing Solutions, Halk.com is the website. Their phone number is 817-882-6520. I'm not kidding. Very highly rated everywhere you look, and that is hard to do in any business, but especially a roofing business. It means they follow up. It means they follow through, um, and they, they just do all the following. So uh, you can get a discount on a roofing tune-up, 50% off, just by mentioning that you heard about them on the Fort Worth Roots podcast. You need to go with a roofer that you trust, and you've been hearing about uh, Roofing Solutions by Darren Houck for a couple of years now. Our friend anniversary is coming up. All right. Who did I forget? I forgot. Wavy Digital. If you are a creator, if you have a small business, if you have any need for somebody with a keen eye and a great camera and a strong social media presence, this is the person that can help you take care of all that stuff. Images and social media and SEO kind of stuff. So find her on Instagram. W-A-V-V-Y Digital. It's two V's in in Wavy. All right. That is all the sponsors we got. I have more information coming at you next week concerning the River Oak Spring Fest Car Show and our music series that we're putting on uh, March through September. We're going to have a different band on a different stage uh, from March up to September, and then all the bands are going to play on one stage at Pouring Glory this year for our big September event. It'll be our third year doing this. Exciting stuff. 
And a big thank you to you guys, our listeners out there. Uh, we've been winning awards and getting all sorts of awesome recognition. And uh, you know, we, we've got you guys to thank for that. We couldn't keep doing the show if nobody was listening. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you at some of these events. And you, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we're always trying to get out in the public and do things and meet up with you and hang out. Um, and it means so much to us whenever you come up and we get to take a picture with you next to the banner and add that to our social media. So uh, if you can make it out, pick a date, any any date between March and September. <laughs> and then we got other events that kind of surround it. So whatever works for you, man. But come on out. Come see us. And the reason we're doing this music series is to support local businesses, but also, and more importantly, provide another stage for our local musicians. So... If you think that's a good idea, show us some love. Show the, show these musicians some love whenever we get those dates, times, and locations out to you here in the next couple of weeks. All right. Y'all have a wonderful week. Thank you again for listening, and I will see you Monday. Peace. Peace.